And good morning, everybody. Um, this is a, a, an event organized by the Shock Project. Uh, I suppose most of you know Shock. Shock is uh, aimed at the um, uh, preparation of uh, the services that have been developed in the context of the SSA cluster initiatives. The uh, uh, for the for research infrastructures, the uh, the SSH Eric, so to say, um, for um, uh, uh, integration or collaboration with the European Open Science Cloud, um, it's a very inspiring um, uh, project that I, as director of uh, one of the Erics, Clarin Eric, uh, see as a very good opportunity to. Um, uh, to understand better where we have overlapping interest and where we can reinforce each other's uh, initiatives. Um, and during, in the course of the project, which started already almost two years ago, uh, we realized that uh, in several of the work packages, there were activities going on um, that had a close connection with the activities in work package three on um, um, the role of vocabularies. Um, and we decided that it would be a good idea to uh, to make sure that this um, collaboration on or that, that this topic would become a to would become something that we could take advantage of and that would uh, lead to uh, more harmonization than was anticipated in the very beginning of the project. And of course, uh, 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 Clarin, as the research infrastructure for language resources, has a keen eye for everything related to. Uh, to vocabularies because it's also closely related to, um, to our, the expertise that we that we bring in in this project on uh, multilinguality issues. Uh, we share, um, yeah, maybe next slide, please. So here you see um, the outline of, of the series of uh, information sessions that have been organized. Uh, later on, uh, the results of those sessions will be um, uh, further uh, discussed. Next slide, please. Um, but it's good to um, maybe briefly uh, dwell a bit on why this is such a uh, uh, um, nice opportunity and, and something that you wouldn't want to miss in, in, in the kind of collaboration that Shock is bringing. So as, as in many uh, discussions about uh, uh, research methods and work pra practices in the field of uh, social science and humanities, um, it, it's always clear that uh, there is a lot of diversity, which is one of the reasons why it is so interesting to work in this field, because um, uh, on the one hand you have the diversity and on the other hand you have the, uh, uh, the challenge to make sure that the diversity is not leading to fragmentation, but to collaboration uh, and to uh, richness rather than uh, missed opportunities. So. Uh, and if you then couple that observation to the role of vocabularies, it's very clear uh, that they, they have a long tradition. There's a lot of diversity there as well, um, especially um, in the context of research infrastructure. There is a, a lot of diversity in the way vocabularies are used uh, to describe, discover and assess uh, the content of, uh, of research projects. Um, and if you want to have access to those research contexts, and if you want to support uh, communities to do that, then uh, the vocabularies play a key role. Um, so uh, a goal for shock in general is to optimize the sharing of research data uh, across uh, the various practices in, in, in domains. Um, uh, so this also brings a, a, a challenge uh, uh, for, uh, for the role uh, of, of vocabularies in, in, in the field of SSH. And the initiative that was taken by Clarin and taken up by Juliana to coordinate it is to work towards the collection and, and uh, registration and, and support for the harmonization of these uh, vocabularies and to make sure that this unified access to research content will become, uh, will become a bit more close. Of course, the question is then how you do that. Next slide, please. How you do that in the context of a project like Shock? Well, we started to collect uh, uh, requirements uh, for the registry that started in uh, Work Package 3. Uh, there is already uh, uh, a milestone report on this. But then um, the initiative to work towards better harmonization uh, was launched. And that started with the three information sessions that I already uh, 
uh, showed you uh, two slides ago. And then there is today's workshop to uh, discuss the outcomes and to work towards uh, recommendations for the future. This, uh, this future will uh, in involve uh, a re-evaluation of the earlier milestone written about uh, platform requirements because there have been some new discoveries that will have to be integrated. And there will be um, an inventory of all the, let's say, known or understood vocabularies with their metadata um, uh, in order to be able to provide uh, guidelines for harmonizing them. Um, and once this has been uh, understood and adopted by all the relevant nodes within the shock community and, and the wider SSH community, um, there will be a step towards, uh, will be bet better possible to deposit metadata in the various vocabulary uh, hosting platforms that are being being used within the context of shock. I think this is what what the big aim is to make sure that everybody is equipped and uh, um, uh, and guided uh, to make sure that harmonized metadata can be uh, deposited. Uh, and uh, in today's session, you will learn more and be able to discuss more about how that can take shape. Um, I think that is the end of my talk. I hope you have a very inspiring morning. <laughs>